Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and thank you very much for joining us. I'm your host for today's updates, and I'm FD465.tv, bringing you some price focus. You know, we tend to stay away from price focus or price estimates for different projects we invest in, but this one in particular is necessary because we want to clarify or to add some clarity to our strategy. The project we've chosen, how do these projects perform is quite important for us to achieve our objective from investing $15,000 all the way up to $600. So what are some of the price targets we are aiming for or what we think we can achieve with each of the projects we hold in our portfolio? Granted, we have not yet finished investing the whole 15K. I think at the moment we've just gone past the $6,000 mark. So we are still building up to the 15K. But to date, the projects we've invested in, what do we see in them? What do we think they are going to deliver as far as our strategy is concerned in relation to our 15K to 600K public portfolio challenge? So what I'm going to share with you guys in this video is not financial advice rather is what I see our 15k to 600k public portfolio assets achieving in terms of prices at near the top of the next bull run. I say near the top as no one can accurately call the exact top or for that matter the, the exact bottom. Is there any signs behind some of the estimates I'm going to be sharing with you guys? No, not really, but we'll be using reference points such as previous all-time highs, related assets, and a dubious multiplier for native assets to their layer 1 or to their layer 0 asset value. This are strictly speaking simply focused or estimates not to be treated as factual things will change we will change our views downline we should be allowed to do so some crypto assets will never get their previous all-time high never and that includes some of the assets we've actually included in one of our public portfolios especially the 15k to 600k portfolio challenge which is the subject matter of this video past performance is not a barometer for future returns i think most people know that but if you don't you should know that if it had an all-time high of a thousand it doesn't mean this time around it will reach unless the fundamentals dictate so it might not happen and some of these crypto assets may actually go down to zero it's quite possible our focus on this channel are not meant to draw higher viewing figures and most layer ones will be upstaged or outperformed by the assets built on top of them for example if you expect ethereum's ETH to do a 10x then most likely that Arbitrum or one of the half decent dApps built on top of Ethereum will outshine Ethereum by a decent magnitude, say 5 to 10x. Put another way, if ETH does a 10x, a dApp on ETH could possibly do 50 to 100x. It's quite possible. That has been proven to be the case in the past and it's not going to stop now. None of our videos are sponsored by the projects we feature week in, week out on this channel. So again, we retain impartiality. Even when we feature some of the projects we're invested in, we try and remain impartial. Now, that is all I of the way let's dive into the project that make up the cosmos basket of our 15k to 600k portfolio channel we have osmosis fmos persistence injective and akashi network so that's five in total now cosmos is atom coin itself is not faring quite well i don't think it performed well during the last bull market only reaching an all-time high of 44 dollars 70 cents it is underperformed if you consider the rate at which the cosmos ecosystem is evolving if you compare that to say poker from an all-time low to an all-time high during the last bull run the Atom coin did a 40x from a low of $1.13 to an all time high of $44.70. With an all time low of around $6.36 this time around, a 40x will give us about $258 per each Atom coin if that is repeated. But can that be achieved? Well, I will settle for a more conservative figure of about $150 per Atom coin, which is a 23x. If that happens, we are then looking at a fully diluted market cap of around $56.25 billion, having adjusted the token supply for inflation and there's no hard cap as also it's somehow tricky to work out the fully diluted market cap and that might also have an impact on what the top of the next bull run will be for atoms price now what about the assets within the cosmos ecosystem specifically those we invested in as part of our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge i'm talking of the likes of osmosis and the osmo coin evmos and the evmos coin persistence and the xprt coin injective and the ing coin as well as akashi network and the akt coin i say coins because they are individual blockchain they are not dApps they have got their own native coin so let's start with injective a crypto asset we hold as part of our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge of course the ing token at an all-time low of 66 cents and an all-time high of 25 dollars during the last cycle now that's a 38x this time around we are dealing with an all-time low of around 1 dollar 30 cents so a 38x could give us a 49 dollars 40 cents per each ing coin and a fully diluted market cap of around four and a half billion dollars is this possible i have no doubt about that but that is just my own opinion in fact injective is one of those projects i think would outperform its layer zero by a mile 
not mild. Injective has been busy building during the recent bear market, and I'm sincerely expecting a minimum of at least 100x from its all time low of $1.30, which then gives us $130 per each ING coin and a fully diluted market cap of about $11.7 billion because I'm also accounting for token bans. So I think it started at 100 million, now it's approaching 90 million maximum supply because the others are being banned. So let's keep that in mind. By the time we get to the next bull run, it might be 85 or 80 million. We never know, but we'll go with that. Maybe the rate of decline might be exaggerated in my example, but I think you get what I'm trying to get to. What about you guys? What do you think? I'm sure we all have our own specific target prices. That's why we're investing in this and we also need to set out our end game. When do you actually cash out? For me, I'll announce that when we get to the middle of the next bull run, because that will give me an idea of whether I need to modify my target prices. Anyway, let us know your thoughts and injective focus down below and share with us your opinions and your thoughts. Next is the largest DEX or automated market maker on the Cosmos ecosystem and that is Osmosis and Osmo Coin. Osmosis will have its first bull run proper which is a full bull market this time around as it missed most of the 2021 bull having launched around October 2021 which I think meant it lost out and it only experienced the final few weeks or months of that bull run. For most it finished in November slash December. Some the bull market finished sometime in January but I think November December was the cutoff and some even think the bull market came to an end in May at the end of the year which is quite possible because some projects hit an all-time high and I think Bitcoin hit its all-time high back then not in November. Anyway for that reason we cannot provide a historical overview so we will treat Osmosis as a new crypto asset that is experiencing its first bull market. So with an all-time low this time around of about 44 cents a 40x will give us a $17.60 Osmo coin but is that enough for such a promising decentralized exchange for the Cosmos ecosystem? In my view we'll be looking at at least 100x to 150x which I think is achievable and should give a price range of between $44 to $66. I think it's quite possible and a fully diluted market cap of $44 billion to $66 billion. I think the lower end is reasonable but the high end will depend on what sort of bull run we get this time around. That is, is it going to be a typical bull run which follows previous cycles or is it going to be an explosive one which is a one-off and doesn't happen every other cycle especially with lots of interest from institutions as well as wider crypto adoption because they are now crypto is being regulated now and governments are actually taking it on board and trying to introduce it within their economic model. Any thoughts on our price estimates for the Osmo coin? Let us know in the comment section. Let's move on to Evmos. This one has been the most disappointing of the five assets we currently hold within the Cosmos basket to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. We opened our position from around 42 cents mark and that entry point has been the result of an 11x decline. Fast forward to today and we have a new all-time low of 9 cents. With this being Evmos' first bull market, an all-time low of 9 cents need to do at least 51x to get back to its all-time high when it first launched. Is that possible? At this juncture and based on current performance, huge question marks? I think there are question marks that start to come when you go past the previous all-time high. Can Evmos recover and give us a new all-time high in line with the narrative that dubs and layer 1s on top of layer 1s and layer zeros can actually outperform their hosts, the primary blockchain? Let's hope so. My best case scenario for Evmos is a 60 to 80x from current all-time lows which will give us a $5.40 to $7.20 for Evmos. That's a fully diluted market cap of around $7.2 billion. Any thoughts on Evmos price estimates? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, we move on to the next price estimate which is on Akashi Network's AKT token. Now, Akashi has performed extraordinarily in the recent bear market pumping a 4x from $0.18 cents to $0.70. Cents. This is also not Akashi's first bull run as it caught most of the previous bull run as well. Back then, the all-time low was $0.64 cents, and then it went on to hit an all-time high of around $8.50 to give us approximately a 13x. Now, this time around, I'm expecting Akashi Network to carry on with the strong performance we've seen through the bear market. Therefore, a 100 to 150x could be in order here. That will give us an $18 to $27 AKT token. Fully diluted will be around $10.5 billion at the top end, which is the $27 one. I'll be happy with a forecast that is within that range, $18 to $27 mark. What about yourself? Do you hold any views on Akashi Network? Drop your comments in the comment section and share with us your views and how crazy they are because I think ours are crazy as well. So we want to know what are yours? Are they as crazy as ours? Let us know in the comment section. Moving on to the final position we hold within our Cosmos basket to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge. We've got Persistence, the latest addition to our Cosmos basket. Now, if we are indeed at the start of the next bull run, which I believe we are, then we may have turned this one extremely 
accurately. It is also worth noting that this is not Persistence's first bull run, as it launched just on time in early 2021. So it experienced most of the previous bull run, and it started from an all-time low back then of $3.85, and it managed to achieve an all-time high of $16.57 at the top of the last bull run, which gives us just a 4x or just over 4x. Could Persistence smash past the previous all-time high? My thoughts? Absolutely. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't. In fact, if we applied the Cosmos default of 40x, we should easily get a $6.40 from an all-time low of 16 cents. However, my true target is 150x to 200x on Persistence, which I think liquid staking and derivatives are going to be huge on the run-up to the next bull run. So, 150x to 250x should give us a $24 to $32 XPRT token in terms of price at the peak of the next bull run or upon the approach to the next bull run. Do you think that is realistic? Again, guys, let me know in the comment section. If you want to know more about Persistence, please follow the links in the description and go watch our DYOR video on Persistence and the XPRT coin. Anyway, guys, that was a quick update on the price estimates that are driving our strategy as far as our Cosmos basket to our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge is concerned. What are your thoughts? Do you think those estimates are achievable and they are realistic? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time, this is FD for Safe5.tv. Signing out for now. Bye.